what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy manny uh today's my one day off i figured i'd make the effort to drop a small video for you guys it's currently 5 42 a.m so good morning so today's topic is going to be about um new firearms new gear and how reliable they actually work um so I picked up a few new things for my firearms, and what I like to do is take them out to the range, put some lead down range, and just uh, really go to town with it. Um, I had ran my firearms previously, and I had no issues with it till this last time. Um, my, one of my buddies, Operator Dan from Bar 15 Clothing, um, he invited me to one of his range days, so I figured, hey, why not? Um, I have a free Saturday. I figured it'd be a cool video for you guys. So I went down there, uh, took all my gear, you know, threw everything on. Um, most of it was fairly new. I haven't actually got to test it. Um, so to my surprise, um, the following day when I started cleaning my stuff out and, and inspecting my firearms, I noticed a few things. So the first thing was my AR wasn't performing um like it should be it was actually uh jamming i was getting double feeds um not sure what was going on I, I i knew it was running dry i hadn't cleaned it and lubed it in a while um i was just getting these really bad hang-ups and it got so bad to where they stopped the line and uh the range master actually told me if it continues to be a problem we're gonna have to pull the gun off the line which is understandable i mean i don't want to ruin everybody else's saturday because my firearm is designed to be a bitch <laughs> so um yeah that was one issue i brought it home i cleaned it out i brought it home i cleaned it up um you know put some oil in there and uh just really got to cleaning this thing it's it's been a while i don't I'm not very pers persistent with super being super immaculate with my firearms, um, so I cleaned it out. That was one it one issue I was having. The second one was that my castle nut, you know, became loose, very loose. Like I came home and I could just wiggle the back of the um, what is a buffer tube. So I came home and, and cranked on it and made sure that thing ain't moving. Um, what was another issue? I think that was it with the rifle um other than that it was fine i just if this continues to be a problem i might have to um get a new bolt carrier this one's fucking i want to say like six years old ten years old almost uh might have blown uh something in there i know there's retaining pins and little gaskets and whatever so it might just be time to either replace it or repair it that's where I'm at with that. So that's why I'm saying it's important to take these classes and, um, you know, really get to know your equipment, see how they're going to handle on the field. You know, um, last thing we <laughs> stupid cat. <laughs> uh, last thing you need is, um, you know, going out into the real world and your equipment failing on you. That, that, that's one of the biggest no, no's. So second firearm is going to be my G 17. I was super excited. I didn't have the comp at the time, and man, I'm loving this thing. I'm going to be doing a review on it later on. Uh, money well spent here. So the only the only two issues, which were major issues, um, were my front sight post and my trigger. And I don't know if you could catch it on camera, but you could see uh, that ain't right. So it looks like a pin flew off of the actual trigger. And so now the, the safety part of it just kind of dangles there. And you could you could get around it and you could still shoot this firearm. But, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't take this out to the real world and, you know, lose your life over a fucking pin. So, like I said, get to know your equipment, guys. Uh find the flaws and fix them i currently have parts coming in so i could take care of that and another one was uh my front sight post uh apparently this was me <laughs> i didn't tighten up enough and this thing just started dangling and moving around and i actually 
didn't realize it until we went to the range and um, halfway through I, I realized I was doing this and I'm gonna go ahead and blame it blame my shots on on the front post that's why I was missing all those shots <laughs> so anyways um, yeah that was just a quick I just want to do a quick video um, we got some range footage uh, stick around and watch it remember guys uh, try out your equipment before you take it to uh, real world application yeah guys so clean your guns uh, train hard fight easy uh, that's my motto you guys get out there and train buy some ammo and uh, take your guns out on a field day peace yo what's up guys welcome back to the channel first off i want to apologize for the slow uploads um i know you guys haven't seen a lot of content going through the channel right now uh as everything's opening up there's a lot of work going on so right now i only have one day off and i do have a family so i gotta take them out but today we got something special we're at the shooting range out here in la we're shooting with uh, omega and um, I was invited here by my buddy here, uh, Operator Dan from Bar 15. Um, he's got a cool clothing line. If you guys want to check him out? Um, is, or is this like uh, part your event, part theirs, or are you just here? Uh, this is, um, I want to say mostly my event. Um, okay. I've actually been going out shooting with, with this group uh, monthly. And, uh, you know, I just had the idea of, you know, starting to kind of doing like, like you know, my own event, like an annual, biannual. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, thanks for having us. It uh, looks like it's going to be a good time. And uh, we'll get some more video for you guys in a bit. Slides All right, here we go. Open and locked back. And the magazines ready. are empty over to the side over here, right? One. And when the line's two, hot, three, we don't test four, the fire on five. the fire. Five. We only do that the line. Make that magazine out. If not already, make your firearm ready. Load up. Put one in the chamber. Chamber check it. Make sure it's there. You want to show them the chamber check real quick? Chamber check. Make sure make sure you're hot. It's on your first. On your on your first. On your first.
ahead, ladies. Step on up. Who we missing? We know how to work on first round rifle. Trust you guys, you guys want to type chip. Uh, it's safe. Families, everybody's invited. We'll get out, get it done safely, and run everybody through everything. So we'll start with Daniel. Why don't you give a who we are, what we're okay. doing here today? So basically, uh what I want to call this day is basic as uh Magnificionado Day. And that's basically our new design that we just uh, released. And Magnificionado means uh if you're like seen those cigar magazines, it's called aficionado, it's affiliation. So Anything affiliated with magazines, guns, ammo, uh, that's what today is about. Uh, it's uh, kind of just getting people from different different corners of uh, different counties, right, all over the, the SoCal area. Uh, and just kind of, you know, unite, you know, we all want, the, you know, we have a God-given right, right? So, you know, we're gathering here today so we can practice that, um, no matter what, you know, opposing forces say. Um, you know, it, it's good that we can get together and just, uh, you know, no judgment, respect for one another, and just, um, you know, just enjoy what, what you know, the, what we like to do, you know, pew pew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's about it. You know, we have some prizes, uh, raffles uh, that we're we'll doing today, and um, yeah, just have fun be, and be safe. That's about it. So we have an agenda today, and um, everybody's assigned to an instructor. Hopefully, you've got with your instructors, everybody knows who we're with. So you're paired up with an instructor. The instructor will walk you through what you're going to do today. Um, we'll walk back and forth to the line. Magazine reloading will be here. Your instructors have shown you which way our firearms as we're unloading here are to be displayed. Facing the berm there. Uh, chamber open, lock back, empty magazine port. Um, we'll go over a safety protocol. Why don't we do that collectively together? Um, who wants to step up and has a safety? I don't. Okay.